so I'm going to walk you guys through how to put your um, video of your XD demo into your presentation. You can do it two ways. Um, I'm going to show you both ways just in case the first one um, is glitchy for whatever reason. Um, so I'll show you two methods and then I'll also show you how to export your PDF so that that will play. Okay. All right. So the first method is you can just bring the movie into InDesign. So you're going to go to File, Place, and then I'm going to navigate to my demo here. And then it's going to give you something that looks like this. And I'm showing you both methods because I've done this a couple of times and it will either make my video look really awesome or for some reason it exports kind of low res. Now for this it's showing you kind of a low res preview um, just as a placeholder. So we'll do it both ways and or I'll show you both ways and you can do um, whichever one you're more comfortable with or which method you prefer. Content proportionally. Okay, now you can see here it's indicated this is a video clip. Now, if you want to test this, you can go up to Window, the interactive panel, go up to Media, and then here I can see that my video actually plays. Yeah. And you can say loop, you can say play on page load. Um, that seems to be the the best method, um, but depending on what order your slides in are in, um, it may um, take it a few seconds to load once you go to the page. So let's just click play on page load. Um, I'm cool with that. I've got um, set options for exporting interactive PDF. Um, you can kind of tell here, tell the description, play video in floating window if you want to. And again, there's place video or audio file. Okay. All right. So this is the first method. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to export. Um, you export the same way, but we'll export um, each time with each method. Go to file, export, and you want to make sure. So normally you guys do print PDFs, but anytime you have video or sound that you want to play in a presentation format, you will make sure that is a interactive PDF. Okay, so I'm going to say, call this video test. And here you can, um, this is open in, we're going to uncheck open in full screen because sometimes that becomes a little glitchy. Um, so just uncheck that, view after exporting. View after Exporting is always handy because that will immediately pop up so you can preview it. Um, say start on this. Um, and then here you can say trust this document always. Sometimes you have to tell um, your video settings. To do that. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. Let's try this again. Let's open it. All right, and then from there, it's playing. Okay, and we can see here, this still looks a little fuzzy. Um, if we full screen this, let's see what that looks like. Eh, I mean, the quality is okay. It could be better. Um, if yours is like this and you would prefer something clearer, we can do the URL option, which I'm gonna show you guys in a few minutes. Um, this option is really nice because it shows you live on screen, but if your quality looks kind of like this, I've had I've had mixed bag results with both of these, um, or with this method, we can go to the next one. So I'm gonna escape from that, close out my PDF, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna delete this so I can show you guys the other method. Um, so for example, let's say that you have um, on one of your slides, you have an image here. So this is the image. We'll just um, we'll just pretend that this little guy here is your image. So this is the mock-up of your landing page of your website. 
And then what would look really cool is if we set this up, we can say view demo and put some text here. Center that text. We make it a little bigger. Now, in your actual presentation, I would format this text to look whatever the theme of your presentation looks like. So again, we're pretending here this square is an image of a mock-up of the landing page of my website. And then here, I'm going to create a hyperlink where this says view demo, which will take me to my XD video walkthrough. Okay, so I'm actually going to go over here to my YouTube page and I'm going to copy. Create. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say share, copy link. And then here, you just highlight your text. So highlight it. And you're going to do a control click. And if you go down to um, hyperlinks and say new hyperlink um, here, you can do the URL. And there's my YouTube link. All right, and now I can see that this is linked. Now, if you wanted to, to go to that link, um, you could say go to destination if you just want to test it. So we're back in XD. And Perfect. So that's just going to take me, it is going to send me an external link in my presentation, but ideally this is going to be one of your last slides in your presentation. So if you do exit your PDF, I don't think that would be bad. It's a little bit smoother if you can put the video directly into your PDF. But if you prefer to do this, if this is the easier method for you, as long as you have the video attached to your presentation some type of way, you can do the first method or you can do this one. So let's go ahead and get this prepped. I'm going to do file, export, and I'm going to say video test two. And again, um, you don't necessarily have to have interactive for the hyperlinks, but just to make sure everything still syncs up, we can um, do interactive. Um, in interactive PDFs are typically viewed on digital devices anyway, so just to get in practice of using that interactive PDF, we can use that. Um, again, make sure open and full screen is not checked. Um, I still want to do view after exporting. And then just close this little guy. All right, so again, pretending this is the image of my mock-up of my website and I want to showcase what the website does so I'm going to go click view demo so we're back in XD and and it takes me directly to my YouTube demo all right so that works everything's correct you do want to make sure that you save your original InDesign file um, give me the interactive PDF um, all that fun stuff. So that is two methods. Um, so the first one we did, we placed the movie directly. And then the second one, we just linked with the hyperlink by right clicking and doing um, add hyperlink here. So currently I have a hyperlink. So it's asking me if I want to edit it. Maybe if you need to update that link, you can copy that there. Okay. So those are your two options to put your video into your presentation. If you need to, if you need to review how to export the XD prototype, um, that's on my YouTube page, and a couple other things that you might need as far as XD are also on YouTube. So I'm going to sign off, and there you go. Pretty simple.